Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going to go through a very classic algorithm called merge sort. The idea of merge sort is basically to divide and conquer. You divide the given array into the minimal individual items so that you can compare two items at one time and eventually merge all of the sorted subarrays into the final output. So first we'll use a visualization to see how the divide and conquer really works and then we'll go through step by step how we can implement the code and then we'll analyze the time and space complexity. That's the idea for this video. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Suppose we're given this random array. How can we sort them using merge sort, divide and conquer? First, we divide the first half. So we got 6, 5, 3, 1. Then we continue to divide because this is not individualized items yet. We cannot compare. Continue to divide 6 and 5. We always chop them into half and we take care of the very first half. Always the very first, 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 first. Now 6 and 5. At this level, these two items are individualized so that we can compare 6 and 5. We do, we can compare in this case, right? So what's the right order for 6 and 5? So it should be 5 and 6. So we put them in the sorted order. So after we have finished this level, we can go back to this level. This level we have sorted, and then we go back to here, 3 and 1. So we divide this, 3 and 1. So 3 and 1 could be divided into 3 and 1. There's two individualized items. What's the correct order of 3 and 1? It should be 1 and 3, right? So now you see we have these two subarrays that are sorted by themselves. But these two, if they are combined, they are not sorted yet. This is where the word merge sort, merge, comes into play. We need to merge these sorted subarrays. So, but it will be a lot easier because every single individual array subarrays has already been sorted. So we every time we only need to check the front element of this individual sorted subarrays. So we can easily merge these two sorted arrays by always comparing two elements, the two front elements, right? So we can do one, we take one, one is smaller than five, and then we compare now three becomes the front element of this array. So three is still smaller than five. So three comes here. Then we simply copy everything from the first subarray into this merged subarray, five and six. So we have a merged subarray for the first half. This first half is done, right? Then after we have merged sorted the first half, we can come back in actual code. It's going to be a recursive call. We'll run the code in just a few seconds. Now we come back to this visualizing the second half, eight, seven, two, four. We have to deal with this. Now divide. So we divide eight, seven, two, four. We take care of the first half, eight, seven. Divide them, eight, seven. So we'll solve eight and seven, these two individualized items, seven and eight, right? Seven, eight. These are the two correct sorted items in order. Then we'll come back to this level. We'll divide two and four. 2 and 4, divide them into in individualized items that can compare. So 2 and 4, they are in order already. Now, again, we come back to here. We need to merge these two sorted subarrays into one merged sorted subarray. Again, these two are sorted, so we can always compare only the two front elements of these two sorted subarrays, which makes things very easy. 2 and 7, which one is smaller? 2. Then 4 and 7, which one is smaller? 4. Then we can simply copy 7 and 8 into this remainder of this merged sorted subarray. 7 and 8. All right. Now we have the second half sorted already. 2, 4, 7, and 8. And also we have the first half sorted. 1, 3, 5, 6. Again, so now we have the two halves of this given original input array sorted. What are we going to do? We'll just merge these two sorted subarrays into one final output. The beauty of this is that these two subarrays are already sorted. One, three, five, six, this is sorted. Two, four, seven, eight, this is also sorted. So again, every time when we try to merge these two sorted subarrays, we only need to compare the front element of each of these two sorted arrays. That's the beauty of merge sort. So what we'll do is one, one comes down here. Now, next one is two. Two is smaller than three. Two comes down. Next one is three, then four. Compare five and seven, which one is bigger? Which one is smaller? Five. So six and seven, which one is smaller? 
six. Now we'll just copy the remainder. Since this one is this array, this subarray is already empty, we can just copy the remainder of this one into this array because it's sorted already. Now we got the final output, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the entirely sorted array. This is how merge sort really works.